Francisco, Nick Saban and the players, all business as they get ready for tonight's national championship game against the Georgia Bulldogs. No doubt about it, Alabama fresh off last week's win over Clemson in the playoff semifinal at the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, but they still feel like they got something to prove after many people believed they should not have even been part of this year's four-team playoff. In yesterday's final press conference, the two head coaches, Nick Saban and Kirby Smart, talked about the keys to tonight's game. Probably two teams that are fairly evenly matched and two teams that, that philosophically are not a whole lot dissimilar in terms of the things they want to do to win. Run the ball, don't turn the ball over, I'll play good field position, be good on special teams. Uh, so it's going to be the errors in execution all right, that have a, a, a critical effect on the outcome of the game. We know what we're up against in these guys because they've got tremendous athletes, tremendous speed, um, and they've, you know, they've had some injuries to deal with. They've overcome those and created some depth. One thing I've learned, Guy, I know you've been among the fans outside the stadium. When you're trying to get out of a stadium, <laughs> when 100,000 people who want to get in that stadium don't want to give up their spot in line, it's not real popular with them. Are you okay? I'm okay. I, I, I'm not you a little bruised. Punch you or I'm anything? a little bruised. I, I did get wondering. punched. I got punched a couple times, <laughs> but I'm okay. I was concerned about you, man. I was concerned. <laughs> and, and, you know, there are a lot of fans of other conferences concerned about this game mm -hmm. because they're saying it's not fair that two SEC uh, conference teams get to play in the national championship game, but just just beat them. Right, you, you had your chance. So I talked to some Bama fans and some Georgia fans how they felt about it. Until they beat us, they can talk all the trash they want. But the deal is, there's two SEC teams in the SEC championship. In the Big Ten, they had their chance. In the Big Ten, they couldn't pull the trigger. We did it. That's all that matters. My wife went to Illinois. My oldest daughter went to Illinois. And my son just graduated from Indiana and my daughter goes to school here. And people have often said, if, you, uh, if, if Iowa played Alabama the national champions, who would you root for? I'm like, roll tide. See, some people are already converting. That's probably what you, <laughs> everybody should do. Just go ahead and convert to the SEC. All right, our pregame coverage will continue all the way up to tonight's 7 o'clock kickoff. We hope you stay tuned. For Guy Rawlings, I'm Don Hawes, live outside Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta for WVTM 13. All right, well, the score of tonight's game could be close thanks to strong defenses from the SEC powerhouses. WVTM 13's Grace Remington joins us with a look at how these teams stack up. Grace? That's right, Lisa. When Alabama and Georgia take the field tonight, it'll almost be like both teams are looking into a mirror. In his two seasons at Georgia, Kirby Smart has built a team that looks like a carbon copy of Nick Saban's Alabama squads. You have two rosters full of elite recruits and potential NFL talent, two run-heavy offenses, and two physical defenses. Now earlier, a few members of the Alabama offense talked about the challenge of facing Georgia's defense, which ranks fourth in the country in opponent yards per game and fourth in opponent points per game. You know, they propose a lot of challenges on, uh, on our offense, but we know that if we go out there and play with great fundamental execution and play the way that we're coached to play, that we'll, we'll be able to have success. I think they're a very experienced unit. Um, you know, a lot of guys that have experience, a lot of older guys, um, they're fast. They play really good defense. Now you've heard the stat all week. Nick Saban undefeated against his former assistants, but now we'll see if the clone can beat the original. Lisa and Sherry. All right, and students who stayed in Tuscaloosa aren't about to miss out on the excitement. Yeah, WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough is live along University Boulevard, where many of them are gathering to watch the game. Chip. Well, Sherry, there is standing room only on the inside of Innisfree Pub right behind me, and it's so busy that that crowd is actually spilling out onto the patio. Now, you can certainly feel that energy as soon as you walk inside the pub. Students and fans started gathering here this afternoon to count down to kickoff. Innisfree says Monday nights are typically pretty slow here, but not tonight. The pub is treating this like a regular Saturday night during the football season when it's all hands on deck. Fans say they can't wait to see the Tide claim victory. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, national t championship title brought back to Tuscaloosa. It's been two years, man, two years too long. I just love the, like, um, atmosphere in Tuscaloosa. We couldn't be in um, Atlanta, but I think it'll be a great time in Tuscaloosa, especially bringing home a national championship, hopefully. Now the rain here really doesn't seem to be impacting the fun. That patio right behind me is covered, but it's still very cold outside. Live in Tuscaloosa, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.
Three businesses, Hibbets Academy and Dick Sporting Goods, will be open late tonight to sell championship gear if Alabama wins the game. WVTM 13's Aaron Kelly joins us now live from Hibbets Sports in Hoover with their plans. Aaron? They tell me the excitement has been building all week. They're expecting big crowds if Alabama wins tonight. And if that's the case, the line is going to start all the way down there at the door. They already have it taped off around the perimeter, and fans are going to make their way back here to these tables. I want to show you what we've got on the table here, these boxes, including one here. Do not open unless Alabama wins the national championship. Now inside those boxes, the championship gear is ready to go. The store manager says they plan to close at 9 o'clock, then come back in the third quarter to get ready. If Alabama wins, they'll have t-shirts, um, magnets, stickers, hats for sale in about 50 stores in Alabama. If Georgia wins, well, you'll have to go to Georgia to get that gear. The staff recommends that if you want to come get some of this gear, you should get here at the time that the game ends. And again, that's only the case if Alabama wins. Live in Hoover, Aaron Kelly, WVTM 13.